Like, how's it going? So here's your questions. The first one is, if I ran the tweeters, would it be fine to connect them the same way the stocks are connected? It's fine, but you're not going to get any your money's worth or anything else like that. You're using um, that little capacitor. It's a 6dB thing. You, you already have that. So there's, I mean, to get a better tweeter, you're not really going to get... It's, it's already producing the high notes just fine from where it's designed. It doesn't produce them as good as some better quality ones, but I don't think that's the problem that you're having right now. Um, the next question is, that would be running them active and using the crossover on the head unit instead of passive. Yes. But again, if you have them hooked up, right, like if you just put them in there and use the little uh, capacitor that's in them, which is the basically the high-pass filter is all it is, just a, it's a crossover, um, you're not really using your deck to its full potential because that little crossover in there basically is going to stop you from being able to get a nice full signal to it. So what's going to happen is, is that, say if you set your crossover at like 2,500 hertz, that little capacitor in there is probably already filtering it at like 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, who knows, right? It just depends on what the uh, capacitor value is and how it rolls in and out, but it's going to be a 6 dB. Just look that up if you need to. Next question, I'm thinking I might try a mid-loudspeaker, and depending on the sound, I may need to upgrade the stock tweeters. Yeah, but the, the thing is, is that really, man, I'm, I'm thinking, just in my opinion, and I'll give you my, my uh, question on that in a second. Let me ask this other one. Uh, I'm not sure what the stock tweeters are rated or what they'd handle. Yeah, man, like I said, stock tweeters are fine if you just want to reach, like, the super high end, and it just the sound. It's not going to sound as good as a good quality tweeter. I want to make that clear. But I don't think that's the problem we're having here. Okay? From what you described, um, you said you have plenty of highs, but you're missing something in the mid-base. All right? You said mid-range area. So I'm thinking the mid-range, mid-base area is probably where you need to focus on. And again, all that's coming from your doors. And I put a link in this video at the very bottom to Mark's uh, car, Mark, uh, car audio fabrication. He has a great a video on how to get mid bass back in your car. You can do it with tuning from your head unit, right? And you can get so far. But I'm thinking the real problem is, is that you have a problem with the installation of your speakers. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you really quick, okay? So I am a, I'm a mid bass or something like that, and I'm talking. Now, if I'm in a standard door, right? I'm going to kind of sound like this. Does that, I mean, that's not very appealing. And what I'm going to get is, uh, basically um, comb filtering, which is one thing, and cancellation, kind of the same thing. And so if you have this happening up in your doors, you see how it's not really clear like it is now. Now, the other thing that's happening probably with your speaker, especially mounted in the doors, you know, you got the ones in the back doors, you got these ones, and that's part of the cancellation problem. The other thing is, is that if you, if your doors aren't really well damped, right, this is a really well damped door. Cool. This is uh, basically like from stock. Maybe, right? That, that can do something. Um, but more than likely, and I'm thinking your problem is that. So that's what's happening in your doors. And a lot of that is really um, sound deadening. Okay. And there's different kinds. You can't just put it on the metal and stuff like that. But you'll be surprised just how well some of these speakers that can you know, really in the $50 range or whatever, you know, 40s, can sound if installed in a proper enclosure and, and done properly. And I think that's the first problem with the second problem being tuning, okay? And remember, you really do have, like, six tweeters in up in your front. So you got, like, the two there, right? And then you got the two up here. And that's usually not a problem. What I'm thinking is happening, however, is not that you have too many tweeters, but this is what your response curve looks like, okay? You got your bass, yeah, you got your mid-range down here, and you got your highs, okay? So, you have the same problem that I probably had in my PT for years, where you have these tweeters up there that are way too sensitive, right? And they are just filling your cabin with high frequency energy that sounds like shit because the stock... Anyway... But you have too many highs and no mids. And you can actually tune that with your deck, which I believe, and guys, you know, quote me if I'm wrong or not, or if I don't, but I think your deck actually has the microphone where you set up here, right? And you set it up right by your, uh, you know, where your head's supposed to be. 
and it automatically adjusts all those levels for you, time alignment and everything. And you can do that with the setup that you have right now with almost no wiring, okay? So if you went through that process, right, cool. But I'm thinking the real problem here is the installation. And from my, again, dude, I'm, I'm guessing, bro, I have no idea what your background is. You probably know how to work on diesel engines, but you know how they say on a farm, you can't really start bailing hay if you don't know what the hell you're doing, okay? You're going to end up with straw. So what you need to do, in my opinion, bro, really set up, get I put links there. Get a good phone, like either one of the Samsungs or something else like that. And you can use like a little lapel mic like this. This will actually help cut off the sound compensation circuit that's built into most phones. Or you can just take it and just record it normally, okay? And then what it'll do, don't turn up your system too high. Very important, because remember, it'll overload the microphones, right? You also have a sound recorder app, I believe. You can just do that so you can monitor the, the, the VU levels. But important so we can actually hear and do this this is really cool take your phone right and and this is like I said, without the mic right and just take it to the drivers right in your car while it's playing okay and i'm going to show you what that sounds like because i am super cool so let's see let's bring up some uh oh i know i know i know Ah, here we go. Here's a wonderful song by a composer that I, I, I've always loved. And so you can do this. Right, so I'm going to take this beat, right? There you go. Okay, so you should be good, and that should actually help you, uh, you know, or help us understand like how your system's not set up or not. So I'm gonna take a quick listen to see how that sounds like. But this is the quick version um, to see if we can get you back to where you should be and probably happy with your sound. Bye. This is Ivan Five Zero Three later.